Hello, and this video will show how to insert a Foley's catheter. As with any other exam, I should start by washing my hands, greeting the patient, ensure him his privacy, and introduce myself, ask for the patient's name and age, explain the procedure, and ask for permission, and as with any other exam, ensure that there is no pain before starting. These are the equipment we're gonna use. Here we have the catheter. Then we have the catheterization tray. We have inside the gloves, sterile gloves. Then we have the drapes. There are two types, one with fenestrations and the other one is with no fenestrations. Then we have the syringe with sterile water. Then we have the water-based lubricant. And finally, we have the iodine sticks or antiseptic sticks. First, I start washing my hands and ensure the patient has privacy. Hello, mister. I'm Noah from McBill. I'm a medical student. Can I have your name, please? Okay, how old are you? Okay, perfect. Uh, I'm here today to insert a urinary catheter for you. Is that okay? Okay, good. Do you have any pain before we start? Okay, perfect. Now I go to the uh, tray and apply the sterile gloves. Okay, after wearing the gloves, I gather my equipment, okay, and assist the patient into supine position. Then, before we start, I check the balloon for patency. Ideally, the whole area, area should be sterile. Okay, the balloon is patent. Okay, then I apply the sterile drapes. The one with fenestration goes over the external genitalia. while the other one goes beneath the patient. Okay, then I get the water-based lubricant. And just prepare it here. Then I go to the iodine sticks or the antiseptic sticks. Now we move on to clean, cleaning the area. We use the iodine sticks. With the random minute hand, hold the penis. And we cleanse the whole glands in a circular motion, moving from in and out. Okay, we use one, st one stick at a time. Okay, and the same thing for the third stick. Okay, after cleaning with iodine sticks, you hold the penis with your non-dominant hand, and with the dominant hand, identify the erythromatous, and make sure that there is no blood coming out or any signs of injury. Okay. Then you coat the catheter with the lubricant, and gently insert. Okay, you insert one to two inches beyond the point where the urine was knotted. Okay, then you kink the catheter to prevent leakage of urine. Okay, then inflate the balloon. Then you inflate the balloon. Okay, and gently pull down the catheter until the balloon is snug against the bladder neck. 
Then, according to the ind your indication, the most common indication is urine drainage in cases of urine detention. So you bring a drainage bag or drainage system and connect it to the catheter, okay, until you drain the sufficient amount or amount you needed. Okay, then when you're done, deflate the balloon. Okay. Then gently pull the catheter out. Okay, and discard the equipment and uh, remove your gloves. Thank the patient and offer him to help to, to help him get dressed and wash your hands. In cases of female patient, uh, the procedure is almost the same, except that you need to separate the labia majora with your non-dominant hand. Then with the other hand, you clean very well the urethral orifice.